Good morning, nurses. I wanted to talk to you about a patient that becomes unresponsive today. So your patient becomes unresponsive. Of course, one of the first things you wanna check is blood sugar. And you also wanna think about their carbon dioxide status. Are they a COPD or do they have pneumonia, any respiratory issues? Because their carbon dioxide could be building up in their body and once your CO2 gets to a certain level, um, it, depending on the patient, it could be 50, it could be 60, it could be 100. Those, um, those levels can make you really sleepy, lethargic, hard to wake up. So um, you can put them on a BiPAP, you could bag them if they're not breathing very well <clears throat> with an Ambu bag. Um, the BiPAP helps to get more lung volume, expand their lungs to help them blow off more of the CO2. They also can breathe faster. Uh, they'll do that naturally. You can also kind of give them more breaths with a BiPAP machine or a high flow also would push the air in and make your lungs expand more so you can blow off more of that CO2. Had a patient the other day who was on BiPAP, COPD or heavy smoker, um, two packs a day for their whole life. And they uh, their CO2 was 80 and when I came on, uh, they were not responding very well. They were just making some purposeful movements, but not waking up, not looking at me, not talking, just kind of moaning. And so we ended up having to intubate the patient and putting them on the ventilator. <clears throat> Their CO2 only went down to 60 after a couple of hours of the ventilator. And so uh, these are things to think about, especially if you have a COPD patient or someone with a respiratory issue. So um, have a great day and make sure that you go to my YouTube and subscribe. It's free and uh, share with your friends. Thanks.